Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to share a very cool thing with you guys. So here's the premise. I opened my LinkedIn and I saw that there were about like 1500 plus connection requests. So I did what I normally do. I open the console and then I write some script or copy paste it from somewhere and run that to automatically accept the connection request. Now here's the problem. I have been doing it for a long time, right? Every time I copy that uh, script and uh, then I run it and it works and that is fine, right? Obviously, I don't manually accept like this because I'm not a, not a casual, right? I'm not a garbage programmer. I'm pretty good. I'm just kidding, obviously. So I didn't, I, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. I want to make it easier. So how can I make it easier? Well, I can maybe create an extension that whenever I open this page and click on that extension, it will start accepting my request. But that is a hassle because I will have to upload it on the extension store and then install. And even if there is another way to do that, managing it will be a hassle. Then I also want it to work on every browser, maybe on my mobile as well. So how can I make something that works on all browsers, on all platforms, really? Right. That's something I want to make. And I don't want to deal with much hassle. Right. Because I all I want to do is run some JavaScript. And that's most of the extensions. Right. They just want to run some JavaScript either automatically or on a manual trigger. In my case, I want a manual trigger. So what I can do is create a bookmark. And when I click that. It will start accepting the connection requests. So how is that working? So this is the JavaScript bookmarklet. And uh, this is like alt an alternative to a an extension, right? It is like, executing some JavaScript like any other extension would do. It's just that it has to be triggered by clicking on a bookmark. Now, how exactly I've done that? So uh, let me just delete this previous one from a failed recording. Now, uh, let's create a bookmark. And while creating it, let's call it bookmarklet. And in the URL, we just want to specify that we are specifying some JavaScript and then an anonymous function. So like this, and then run that anonymous function. Inside that anonymous function, let's do alert. Hi, right. And just save it. And when you run that, JavaScript bookmarklet, it will execute JavaScript with the context of this current page. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm able to execute some JavaScript without any hassle, right? I It did not take me any time to create this bookmarklet and I can run this on my browser. And since this syncs with my mobile, I can run that on my mobile as well. And uh, if I sync it with my Firefox, it will run there as well, right? So it is a very less effort functionality. The only drawback to this is actually, you know, I have to click on it to execute that JavaScript. If I want to automatically run that JavaScript, I'm going to have to do an extension. But there's an actually an alternative to this. I'll answer these people later. So there's an actually an alternative to this. And that is that is something like a script manager. In our case, in Chrome, we have Tamper Monkey. So if you install this extension, Tamper Monkey, you can have specific scripts, like I have one for Code Forces, where I get automatic submission. So if I go to Code Forces and I pick any problem, like uh, let's go to any contest. Ah, uh, that was not it. Problem set. Let's pick any problem and uh, I want automatically a submit menu to be present here. Now I can do this with my bookmarklet, but I'll have to click on that bookmarklet every time. If I want it to run automatically, I can use a script manager like Tamper Monkey. So here's the script. I've actually shared it in my CP setup video. So you can check that out if you're interested. But yeah. So this is something you can do when you want automatic execution. But if you don't want that, then that is fine. A JavaScript bookmarklet is 
a very portable solution and uh, just a pretty nice thing to know in my opinion and as for how i coded this automatic uh, selection so the code is extremely simple i get all the buttons for accepting the invite using query selector and then i iterate through them i click them and then i wait for 510 milliseconds so that you know i do not look like a bot i mean this is pretty bot because i have uh, 510 millisecond of proper timing so this is pretty body but uh, what we can do and i do this as long as i get any uh, new buttons so yeah i just copied the script i went here if i edit this as you can see this is what i have pasted here and it has already accepted like 4 500 connection request so yeah that's a small hack you can use if you want to you know automate some triggers now there are other things that you can try this was one if you have more interesting ideas leave them in the comments and try to code them yourself so um yeah i guess that was it this was a small video for javascript bookmarklets hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something new if you did leave a like subscribe and i'll see you next time